Christine Tyson. Oh, I'm Sean Anthony Smith. Oh, yo, where am I? I'm Sean Anthony Smith. What's good, yo? How and was welcome, your weekend? How was your weekend? Welcome to the industry. Can I welcome my guest first? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm welcome to the fast. industry standard. What's up, Sean? How just, was your weekend? I just why are you yelling at me, yo? <laughs> yo, every week she yell at me like like something wrong, yo. <laughs> I have yeah. a big mouth. What can I say? I thought I was the one with a big mouth. But, but but how was your weekend? My weekend was it was okay, I guess. I didn't do anything. Yeah, it I sat like on you my had a brain ass. Fart. I mean, no, I sat on my ass the whole moment? weekend in a gray funk. I mean, because you did, did you did celebrate a birthday not too long ago. But I was drunk from that birthday. Oh, okay. And um, yo, I didn't do I didn't do nothing this weekend. I didn't do anything either. <laughs> yo. Besides lay in bed and get some work done, I really didn't, I didn't do, even too do much. that. It was a really quiet weekend. Christine. Um, very relaxing, yo. not too much going on. Yo, world, I didn't do any I didn't do a damn yo, thing. <laughs> yo, I sat on my whole ass this whole weekend and did nothing. Did you at least research the um ship that sink? Yeah, yo. It's not funny because like I mean fill oh, yo, me yo, in a little you know bit. They, fill me in a little you, bit about what's going on. You know they're still on. they're still finding people dead? Well, there was like... They're still finding folks dead. But they got yo, most of the people okay. off the ship, no? Okay, because we talked about this like last week on the show. Mm -hmm. Okay, the problem is this. The captain, you know, he wanted to show off the ship. Look look at that damn ship. Mm. Oh, my God. I'm never getting on no ship. What is that, yo? So, but what happened? He, he Okay, he wanted to show his homeboy, allegedly. Okay, because I don't want to get sued. Allegedly, mm -hmm. he wanted to show his homeboy that was on a, on a little island before he got to the island where he was supposed to go to. Okay. And he did, of course. And... Tried to turn it, try to maneuver, mm -hmm. and turn that over. Okay. And then guess what? He got off. I know. I was like hearing a lot. They put the tapes yo, where, you yo, know, he's like, yo, yo. The, the guy who's doing the, the um, information back and forth is like, get back on the ship. You abandoning yeah. your ship. And he's like, listen, you know, I, 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 I'm trying to do my Can thing. Can I like, I would have did the same thing. I've been standing across the street on dry land. They call telling him everybody, get up, get up. They're calling him Captain Coward. I mean, I it's think not that's... A, you think I, that's a coward? I think that's cowardly, yes. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Because they compared him to the Titanic. I want to ask you a question. You know, the guy who, the captain of the Titanic. And he was stupid. He, he could have still been living. Because I would have been in that first boat. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. If your house is on fire and your kids is upstairs, you, are you, 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 I'm going to stand downstairs, I'm going to call for the kids. Are you going to do that? No, I'm gonna, gonna run run up there and try. I ain't running a burning building. I ain't running. Listen, I can have some more kids. Are you kids. crazy? Because you can have some what? more kids. Don't do Listen, that. Listen, they yo, were saying there was reports. Yo. Um, there was a couple of people. They started interviewing. Yeah, yeah. I want to ask the producer. If you, if you had, if you had, if you was burning upstairs, no, you wouldn't go there and no, you wouldn't. No, you're wilding. Listen, they were, they were. You, um, you can't you have more kids? Shut up. They were um. <laughs> they were. Why should I get my life up? Because they didn't want to come downstairs. Now, on that ship right there. Once they seen that, once they seen that shit rocking and shaking, they should they should have got off. No, that everybody was running too, but they said that there was no no um lifeboat, no help, no the help. Lifeboats wasn't really working. The people who were supposed to be helping, he got didn't off know the ship. how to work the ship. He got off the ship. Um, didn't know how to work the lifeboats. Um, they said that you know there was no help. It yo, was yo, the people. Yo, the my people dude, were helping one another. Yo, listen to me they carefully, my dude. Like, although I mean, Christine, although you have bankrupt this place. <laughs> And a lot of cruise ships to come because yeah. they're saying that they're gonna because of this they're gonna see a decline. I wouldn't get on no ship. And exactly, I wouldn't get on no ship. A lot of First people of all, feeling that way. Then one had bed bugs before. Then one had like some type of salmonella type of situation. I ain't get no vice ship, yo man. Keep that. And first of all, I'm black. I don't. It seems like some slave <laughs> stuff me. anyway. I ain't going on nobody cruise. It was, the cruise I went on. It's was Black really History lovely. Month coming up. But on. it does make it really scary. How many that, days you, know, you go on a cruise? I was on it for four. That's not bad, Four and though. a half. But my thing is that, you know, I just worry about, like, people not keeping it real. Like, don't put a captain on. Don't have this whole... Because before you even sail, they have this whole, like, you have to come on deck. They explain to you how the life rafts work, mm -hmm. how the lifeboats work, what you're supposed to do, where your exits are, and whatnot. Do not do all that if you're just going to hop yourself off and not help nobody. Like... I'm sorry for being insensitive. But I would have hopped my ass off that ship just as well. So, yo, y'all call him Captain Coward or whatever, but he's still he's a Captain Coward. Well, he's chilling. Okay, so there's been a big thing happening in the media where people can't differentiate reality mm -hmm. from reality TV. Right. There's a bunch of instances that's going on where 
it's kind of like we thinking that this is actually happening, but it's really not what you think. Um, one of but, the examples but, okay. is um, Kim Kardashian. Apparently, is she back in again? one of the episodes. I'm just yeah, hold saying. Hold on. Oh, God. Are we talking in one about of this? the episodes Are we of, about this itch again? Of, of, of Kim and Courtney takes New York. <sighs> she supposedly is supposed to be in Dubai in a car with her mom. Explain to her about how her marriage is failing. However, months later, there was pictures. The above picture was supposed to be shot in October. Live in Dubai in a car. The bottom half is actually taken in the studio lot in L.A. December 6th. 2011 it looks kind of like the same scene i mean I, I i'm just saying same outfit same hair same makeup um is that her dress that she's carrying her sister is carrying in the back i'm not going there with you yo, um, yo hold on hold on look at the slow tinted you slow can't see down. anything outside slow it down. Hold even on, hold on. tinted windows hold isn't on. that dark hold on chill out chill out come on is it real come on chill out chill out is it chill reality out. tv chill out, chill out hold on hold on hold on so what you allegedly saying is, because we always allege it. Yeah, allegedly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say word, because that's the mother's dress. I told you <laughs> they was full of shit. I told you the whole family. Y'all need to ban the Kardashians, just, Kardashians, whatever the hell whole, their last name is, out of is, America. Look at this. It's right here. Ain't no whole thing, boo. Look, that's that <laughs> chick's dumb mother. Her mother's the ringleader of this shit. Look at that. Look at her but dress my, right there. Listen, you my, ain't shit, Kim Kardashian. She need to this. keep doing pornos. Now she became this. famous, okay, and that's fine. it, y'all. But, and Chris, but my, listen, get hold your on. money. Hold on. Why is people upset about this when I'm the upset cast, about it? Hold on, the cast of the Hills on their season finale walked off of an LA studio lot and revealed that the entire thing was staged. So why does this surprise people? Because and why are because you people know what? still believing because you know what? that these things Cause, cause, are no, real? No, because the, the Kardashian people... They're uh, actors! See, I'm not, see? No, they not. They not. A damn one of them went to nobody's acting school, so they ain't not no but damn actors. But apparently they're good no. that people actually mm, bought into mm. their yo, 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 TV yo, 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 my dog, being I mean, reality. My, my girl, Listen, let me explain something to you. There's a whole bunch of fakeness going on in there, and it's going to all fall apart like that whole marriage. You just proved to us that you faked that marriage. Somebody needs to slap the shit okay, out of her. Okay, let's talk about, okay, okay, okay. Before and give he, Ray J mother and them oh, back their money that you stole out their house. Before he goes crazy, and I'm going to have to defend her like I do J-Lo, even though she ain't my boo like but that. They, she's, do, 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 tell but, her, give her some advice. Tell her to get that money back that she stole out of Brandy's pocketbook my, my when they sit on the table in the house. My, my they advice, did that film. the reality is, people, stop thinking that everything you see on TV is real well well it's still on the tube and it's still and, scripted and it's still okay. not real and, and I'll, when I'll, are you gonna I'll get that you, in your mind i'll add to you reality is understand this let me explain something to you reality is basically when you're on tv they still have sponsors they still got you they cannot put no nonsense on tv so it is all fake yeah it is don't mind me i would like to do a fake show but it's all <laughs> fake speaking of fake, fake speaking of fake louis vuitton just went in and put out a statement that they would, you know, appreciate it if celebrities would stop faking their emblem on clothes that they did not custom make. Oh, 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 that's not um, nice. Because y'all got the, the, the Smith boys on it. Oh, that's not nice. So he, Willow, what is his name? What's that boy name? What's that boy name? Apparently, there's a growing trend where celebrities um, have their so that's not real? made. There's a so Levi Bieber, tag sticking right out of the pocket. I see it. Oh, well, maybe Levi was in conjunction no, 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 with Louis Vuitton. No, 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 Louis Vuitton. Someone called up and said, I want that jacket that Justin Bieber and, you know, little Jaden was wearing. And they said, we did not custom make that. That is not real. So, that did not come but, from our company. But you know it's real, though? Please stop. But, it's see, Levi. See, but that's her, it's though. That's her, though. Ain't that hood? That's hood. Because, yo, what he went and did was he got him some, some Louis Vuitton fake stuff from off Canal, Canal Street. That's what he did. And attached it to his Levi jacket. That's what he And did. called the week. That's fashion. That's what he did. That, no, it's not fashion because um, the Levi logo is, is trademarked. But Louis Vuitton. So but that's a, but Louis not, Vuitton is it's expensive. It's illegal. Yo. It's illegal. Google. I got a wallet right now. It's $200. No, I understand $200. that. Yo, I understand this, this, listen, listen, but this little ass thing cost me two hundred dollars. They gave me some champagne, but I understand the, the Louis Vuitton, so that it is if I could attack a Levi listen, thing to it, I do the same damn thing. Can y'all mic? Can y'all please mute his mic? I'm sorry. Just mute the mic, producer. Thank you. What I'm saying is this: Do not perpetrate a fraud. 
Your dinner like, look nice, Like, if it's though? not Louis Vuitton, then it's not Louis Vuitton. Your you have people out here that are trying to sustain their life to match up to these artists. Then you have Rick Ross, who was on the cover of XL with fake Louis Vuitton shades. And Louis Vuitton had to call them up and say, you need to stop printing this magazine because those are not our shades. Hold the presses. Hold it. Hold on. Yes, there's a growing trend. Stop, 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 stop. This is not real. Stop, this stop. is a, this is not yo, real. Yo, 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 stop. Say words. Yes. So do act but He probably didn't even know they was That's fake. what I'm about to say. Some style I, probably I, said where they joined, throw them on. They probably they probably don't even know And fake. pocketed the money from look, the shade. Look, look, those are not Louis Vuitton. I've never seen those before. They're not Louis, Louis Vuitton. The one thing about Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton does not put their emblem on the, in the middle of glasses, first of all, and they're not they're not crazy. <laughs> they're not crazy with their emblems. You know, like you know what I'm saying? Like only people are crazy with the emblems, like Chanel and and, mm -hmm. and um um East Saint Laurent. If I got the name, okay. Yeah. If I got the yeah, name, yeah, yeah, they do. But yeah, do. it's crazy with it. The, the girl glasses, yeah. the men glasses, they don't do that. I got Gucci J. They they you can't even tell unless you. Uh, really a Gucci person, it. and you on but, but it. But my thing, but my oh, thing is man, like, Rick Ross, yo, the crazy thing about the album is whack. You wear fake glasses. Yes, and you, you have, have a heart attack. Fake name. Yo, just give it up, dude. Yeah, like, Everything I mean, about you is just fake. fake. I loved yeah. you for like yeah. 16 minutes. Yeah. So they just told me Everything this right about here. Everything about him is fake. I mean, I, no, I told y'all. I told y'all once someone has to probably give fake. up their name <laughs> because you stole it. Oh Lord, have mercy. Like you lost. What's this world coming? Because what's this world coming to? We got ship sinking. People wear fake stuff. No, it's the reality version. Versus reality TV, the surreal life. My thing is this: like you know, you have people that probably actually went out trying to cop those same things, spent their rent money, right. you because, know, they they child support okay, funds. Okay. I let, mean, okay, let's do this. Let me let me let me let me let me give a disclaimer to this whole situation. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor, you stylists, stop stealing the people's money and giving fake shit on on and, and been printing they do. it. Stop doing that. But my thing is, what? if you saw a girl on the street with a, a guy on the street with those glasses on, you'd be like, oh, he's wearing fake, you know, Louis Vuitton. But as soon as right. you see a celebrity with right, right. you automatically, automatically assume think. it's real. And but guess what? But that's 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 They not spending no. their money on that you know, joke. I was gonna make a joke about that, but that's really some They're not some spending their money on that. They not. Can you imagine us doing something and they giving us some fake stuff? I'll bust somebody's ass. I swear <laughs> to God. I will bust your ass, you give um, me some fake stuff. Again, speaking of reality versus reality TV, um, there's a allegedly, the, according to SandraRose.com. What the um, hell is Sandra Rose? We keep talking about the damn Sandra Rose. Well, she's 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 a blogger. According to her website, why she got name a, her? She, she, a porn, she was a porn she star. She got a personal tip that Nia Long's new baby boy, that's two months old, is not really hers and her boyfriends. Um, but Beyonce and Jay Z, that's not their baby, but ain't nobody. They said that her baby's blog about that. They said that her baby's nationality is Caucasian. Um, that is true. It was. It, um, it, he that was is created true. By IV injection, and it's not her egg, and it's not her boyfriend's sperm. They wanted a white baby, but the adoption list. Hold on, long. hold on, hold on. Now, do you think that this is going to be a grown? Like, I don't know if it's true or not. Do not. Quote me. I'm just saying. Allegedly, according to that Rose Sandra tip, Rose name dot com, this is what happened with this hold on. pregnancy. Hold on, hold on. However, I'm thinking like, is this gonna be a growing trend? You think we're gonna see more black women giving birth to white babies? And this so like, is 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 that where we've come to? Where black is camera, no more good my enough? Camera. Which one is these cameras? Three cameras here. Y'all's got to be kidding. I mean, I would love to. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hope hold on. this is, this is a rumor. Can we just have a moment of silence, please? This, this got to be a rumor. Come on, can you, come on, we need to chill out for a minute, because. Listen, we, we don't live time. I mean, I okay, no, no, no. I'm trying to, no, no. I'm trying to get through my topic. As usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yep, yep, yep. you got to have a moment of silence yep, yep. in your, your, your dressing room. Yep, yep. Listen, we live. Are listen, we live? What you, why are you yelling? <laughs> what, what's wrong? You need, you need, need some tagging? Listen, that baby white. But not really, because he's black with nappy hair. But he's really light. He's that not, baby. No, I mean, he's look really at the lips. light. Look at but the that lips. baby look at the is white. Look at the eyes. Yo, <laughs> he she nappy black, and her Samoa's a sister. So you know they got nappy big old black hair. That baby got slick. That that thing is what that baby. But he looks like he could be half and half. No, he ain't no half and half. My ass. That baby's a honky baby. That baby got a black. That baby black black Caucasian. Butt, though. I mean, that's I don't that's know. uno Caucasian right there. That is some. Me alone, and I love Moving you. Moving on. I love them a little bull legged ass. I would like to ass. take you guys to the manager's corner. Then you just love them a little bull legged ass, a little bull legged ass. <laughs> Boys in the hood walking down there. 
Yo. Well, I can kind of run down some stuff, you know, get through the whole time because Sean is just on like overtake drive today. I don't see what's going on, but you yelling? Anyway, anybody saying nothing to you? Anyway, manager's corner. I think he's gonna like my my the first thing that I have up. Rough Riders is reportedly coming back together. Oh, uh, 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 uh. uh, so you're gonna have DMX, Swiss Beads, Drag on Eve. The Locks Murder Mook. They have all signed on to come back and do Murder Mook live in my building. So now we're job. gonna have Rough Riders. I'm excited about this, my girl Eve. Like, I mean, when you was on Rough Riders, you used to be doing it, doing it. Y'all used to be on your Kawasaki's. All right, I'm getting hype, I'm getting hype. Um <laughs> break it down. <laughs> I'm really excited to see that. Um RB Diva Monica is going to be um, headlining the annual Battle of the Bands on January 28th in Atlanta, the Georgia Dome. Um, for all of you people who don't know that like, they have the really huge band competitions, um, all the southern states get together, they're real heavy in band um, in the south, they're going to be coming together to compete like they do annually and Monica is going to actually be singing. So if you guys are in Georgia, get some tickets, go to Ticketmaster, I think they're like $28 um, and support. Mattel has apparently canceled producing the Kardashian dolls. So we will not see any actual Chloe Kardashian, Lamar Odom, Kim Kardashian, Robert. I, I don't know if they was ever going to do Robert, but hey, or Courtney or the Little Sisters. Mattel is like, we're done. We're not going to produce this. Have a nice life. Um, now, this last one, I want to kind of pull it out and, and get Sean's reaction on this. Um, so, Nicki Minaj, over the weekend, dropped her new single. Now, it is called... That's the normal she, it, That's the normal that bitch ever looked. Wait for it. Stupid Ho. <clears throat> that is the name of the title of the single of Nicki Minaj's new single. Stupid hoe. And the chorus, you're a stupid hoe. You're a stupid hoe. You're a stupid hoe, stupid, stupid, stupid hoe. Now, I've been talking about this all weekend. And it really bothers me because I'm like, music should be about, you know, connecting with people. I mean, who's really connecting with stupid hoes? I mean, I really don't understand who paid for you to go in the studio and make this? Lil like, Wayne. At, at what point were you sitting in the studio His like, I'm really going to record this? And then you had the nerve to, 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 to pretty much insinuate that the song is about Lil' Kim, um, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. But in the video, you're the one that looks like a stupid hoe. Okay. I, I'm not understanding okay. this. Okay, okay. Besides all this, this is my thing. They should call her Sicky Minaj instead of Nicki Minaj because she's a sick-ass person. Is First of, all, first of all, first of all, first of all, you look like go? a muppet, all right? Listen to me carefully. The sad thing is that you got all these little girls, these little yes. fast ass little girls chasing behind you, dressed in Barbie. You don't look like no Barbie. Barbie don't have no big old ass like that. She don't have no big old fake ass. Let's get that off the table. This is true. Okay? Nicki Minaj, when I seen your documentary, I thought you was a very talented young yes. lady. Yes. Okay? You're almost 30 years old. You were born in 1982. <laughs> get it together. Damn. I Wikipedia you. Grow the hell up. Wow. Understand that. Yes. You take that damn pink hair out your head. Yes. Your mother need to slap you. I'm I thought you was from the island. I'm mad at the pink hair. I'm mad at the, I'm I'm at the pink I'm hair. I'm mad at the stupid hoe. Listen, listen. Like, now, I want to ask you a question. Really, no, 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 no. Video yeah, yeah, boo boo. I want to ask you this. I want to see you sing this stupid hoe song when you're 40 years old. No, I want to see you on stage with that big old ass, that pink hair. Are you going to sing this at the Super Bowl? Is this going to be like your song? Like there's, gonna, there's so many girls I that think, look up to you. Listen and you're to me in carefully. a position to really minister to Pink them Friday. and mentor them. I and think, instead, you, you got, I, on Facebook just this morning, I already saw someone quote in the list. You know what's so sad? On they stats. I think that, yo, I know, uh, yo, Nicki Minaj, all you're doing is just telling me that you just 100% special ed. You's crazy. This is Okay. What, what do we have to look forward to your album? Stupid hoe. Stupid hoe. Who gonna buy that? Jerk. Who gonna uh, buy that? 
They can't even put it on MTV. They can't they even can't. put it. They can't put it on. You wasted your money and your time on that, like you did with that ass. You wasted all that money. Oh my god. You wasted all that money. Get your life together, young girl. You're 30 years old. You're almost 30 years old. Get your shit together, yo. I think so. I'm sorry for cursing, but yo, but this just feels bothers me because no, it, it feels does. Me up it does. It you does. got kids this out is there not emulating. The standard. Like at some point, we. I mean. I know this has been going on for Stupid, years ho. where we've been really calling girls bees and hoes and, you know, sluts and this and suck and da da da. And, and, and you know what they need to do? For years. I That's know what? that. Guess However, what? was she it's, born here? It's something about a woman just degrading she herself. She wasn't born here, right? And degrading another woman. Like yo, 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 and Lady Gaga, yo, Lady, Lady Gaga will sit you down, you dumbass. But and Lil no, Kim, no, no, and Lil Kim has been here way before no, no. you even could say it. Shut the hell but up. The Go back is, to where you came from. Even though Lady Gaga gets crazy and but, she's but, un, she's unconventional when it comes to her style. But Lady Gaga, her video, but her music no, actually no, no. has a message. Always, her thing has a message. Everything when she wouldn't meet all that stuff, everybody thinks she's crazy. But understand she this, I respect her gangster because she always got a message. The stupid hoe is, is not a message. message. Does your mother, when you, hold on, like, when you walk in the message? house, do you call your mother a stupid hoe, Nicki Minaj? Does your mother know you wrote that song, stupid hoe? Because your mother should slap the hell out of you for I going can't. around. Does she can't. know you got, come I on, you can't. got little this cousins is, and nieces yes, and stuff. this is crazy. You know who the stupid hoe is? You the stupid hoe oh. for writing that song. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. No, the person who actually that. let you help you lay down the track is L the stupid. Little hug. Wayne jailbird ass. That's who did it. That's who oh. did it. His old little jailbird ass. How little? How, did he go to jail every season? What kind of role models are they? Stop letting these people be your role models. She's a yes, super hoe. Yes. He's a jailbird. We can go down the list of all these yes, all the extra yes. stuff. Stop I mean, it. You actually bump that while you getting dressed? Like, oh, I'm about to go to the club. Super hoe. Super, 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 super hoe. I don't. I don't super get hell. it. Like, With I, that I, fake it's, ass. It's a disconnect. It's with that disconnect. fake ass. All right, Yo. we're done with that because you're so stupid. Um, the ass is fake, though. Vivid, Tell the truth. Vivid Entertainment. Why are you laughing? Vivid Entertainment. Okay, first of all, before I begin to that, there's a British woman by the name of Hazel Jones who reportedly um, suffers from a condition which gives her two vaginas. <laughs> oh, I'd like to see two that. Two services. I'll give, give her a million dollars. I'll give her three dollars. And two uteruses. Yo, ooh. So, damn, she could get pregnant twice? Yes. And at the same twins. time, so she got four twins. Like she got she twins could. and twins. She very well could. She very well could. Is she showing? That? Um, what is that? <laughs> ooh, ooh. Vivid, no, 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 no. Yo. Entertainment, which is you know the known site for you know pain. People but how she get two vaginas? Sex tapes. It, okay, what happens is this: when women, when girls are formed in their mama's belly, mm -hmm. um, we're, we all are conformed with two vaginas, two services, and two uteruses. However. As the growth process continues, they form and morph into one. Some women are reported 8.3, you know, thousand, something like that, women in the world have this condition where it never morphs. Can you into imagine it just going to a club and picking some chick up? And pulling her panties down and she got two vaginas? That's what she said. She said that. She said that she didn't know. Do I gotta she, buy her two drinks? She said <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm just asking. Like, can you imagine a stripper with two vaginas? Do I'm I got to done. get so I got to get the stripper two dollars? I'm done. But she, but she said I'm sorry. that. But she said that apparently, like, um, you know, growing up, she didn't realize that she was different from other girls. She until, didn't until <laughs> until you know she went. She, until she went. When she was thinking about herself with her two fingers, she didn't realize that. <laughs> When she uh, went to sleep over and sorry. was asking, you know, one of her Producer friends me to stop. about the I tampon you. usage, <laughs> oh, she, um, used tampon? she asked her friend, you know, which hole should I put it in? Oh, and what the girl that? was like, what do you oh, mean? Baby, Don't stick it up oh, your anus, oh, you know, baby, like, Jesus. just put it in the hole. Oh, baby, baby, she just swallowed it. <laughs> and then her boyfriend, as she got older, when she was 18, this is what really made her get into finding out wh why she's so different is that someone she was sleeping with said, you know, there's something not right down there. Like, there's something different. She was, cause she was, Down there. she was getting wet and too, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord Jesus. Oh baby this Jesus. This is not funny. Oh, baby Jesus. Why are you laughing oh, at the woman Jesus. with two vaginas? Oh, baby Jesus. No, but Vivid Entertainment <laughs> offered her a million dollars to showcase the goods. I want to see it. In a video. I want to see it. In a, in a porn, video? In a, in a porno. In a porno? So are they going to have... <laughs> okay, that'd be nice. I mean, but like, at, at my point, what I wanted... I, I, we got to move on, but I just want to ask one question. Can she, like, 
get Squirt. it three ways and feel three different sensations like anally and double vaginally. She get okay. it four ways in her right. mouth, in her two vaginas, and in her butt. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> long um long shot oh. presidential candidate. Randall Terry, who has just um, joined the Democratic ticket, he's going to run against Obama in, in, in the upcoming months, um, has decided to run a graphic anti-abortion ad during the Super Bowl. Who wants to watch that shit during the Super now, Bowl? Now, is this the industry standard? I mean, like... <sighs> but, Christine, who wants to watch an abortion commercial during the Super Bowl? I'm going to be eating chips and fried chicken. Come on. Gambling. He's I mean, well, not be, gambling. He's but, doing it but, because of Tim Tebow. Um, as you all know, Tim Tebow is a Christian and he is anti-abortion. Uh, um, since he spoke out against it, there's a woman, you know, who decided that she was going to say, for all you pro-choice people out there, pro-choice, um, submit $10 to the pro-choice organization every time Tim Tebow scores to let him know that a woman should have a choice whether or not, you know, she keeps her, her, her baby. Um... Randall here decides to backfire against the woman because according to the FCC, Section 315, yeah, you like that, right? Um, you good, huh? When someone, when a candidate who's running for president puts out a PSA, they cannot alter it at any, any kind of way. They must put it on but, yeah, the way yeah, that it's done. The way done. that it is. But my, so but, it's but, very graphic. Um, wait, so when you say graphic, meaning what? Are they going to show somebody... Having an abortion? No, he's not showing anyone having an abortion, but he is showing the aftermath of an aborted fetus. Talking about with the feet and stuff? I seen yes. it on Channel 13. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yo, you, I don't yes. even care about that. We got to move on. I don't even care about that. I still want to talk about Nicki Minaj. Let me say no. I'll no, be listen, watching. listen. Yo, yo. Okay. Are you serious, though? Come Danielle on. from uh, Danielle, a woman who has um, a reality show on TLC, decided to clone her pet for $50,000. Um, his name is Trouble, and she decided one day, she woke up and said, you know, I need double trouble in my life, so I'm going to clone my pet. Um, this is a reality series, and she is obsessed with her pet, Trouble. She had him cloned, she's got two Troubles running around, um, her whole apartment is Trouble decorated, I mean, do you care about this? Not really. Because he's going to die in seven years just like that other one that did. That is just physiotic, okay, lady? You need help. So I heard of a cat she, lady, but a damn dog lady? You really need um, two double trouble in um, your life? Are you serious, Get though? it together, lady. So $50,000? You know what I could have did with $50,000? Well, she she should have got $50,000 and got her breast implants and that face fixed. That's what she should have did. She should have wasted the money on that damn dog. Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> on that note... Um, I'd like to send my condolences to the marriage of Heidi Klum and C. <laughs> First of all, condolences. Everybody's well, no, breaking up what these should, days. What you, should, what you should do is tell Tyra now she should whoop her ass because she stole it from Tyra back in the day. He got and, the whole and, story. And, and then what happened was. Let him know. She called um, Tyra on the phone and broke up with her because he was. And Tyra, yo, and she was Tyra's best friend. She was smutting. She was sucking seal off in the, in the oh back of the God. things. And she stole him from Tyra. And he called, had the nerve to call Tyra on the phone and tell her. I no longer want to be with you. Okay, you know so I mean? let me sum so that up for you guys just... who didn't follow anything that this man just Yo. said. Apparently, Heidi Klum broke up the relationship with her best friend, which Tyra, Tyra Banks, Banks, at the time, and Seal. And he looked so, like a Seal. So seven years later, here we have it. They're divorced, and they're divorcing because of the anger. And I don't care anger. about that. That's what listen. That's what they get. get, it, get that's what she get. I'm wrapping it up. Get. We gotta go. We're getting the rap sign from our um, floor manager. And She's yo, done with why you cut one lights and never off? There's no more stories. Be <laughs> be sure to watch <laughs> us every Friday night at 8:30 p.m. Right here, BronxNet. And if you're in Connecticut, you can catch us on Channel 88 Mondays at 7 p.m. Go to our YouTube, email us, let us know how we're doing, um, you know. And Oprah, we still campaigning to come on your show, I mean, come on your network, because you showed the color purple one more time this weekend, Thank and you I'm getting sick of it. Thank you for being here with us, guys. All right, we love you. <laughs> yeah, we do.